The Reds look to take a bite out of the Big Apple tonight, and they really can't wait much longer if they're going to make a serious run at the Central Crown. Bob Boone's club and even 7-7 seven seven since the All-Star break, looking to get on track in New York tonight against the hot-hitting Mets. To Shea Stadium we go, descends in a bases-loaded jam. Thanks to an Adam Dunn error, and then he hits Jeremy Burnett. Ends a 17-inning scoreless streak for descends in the first. It was two-zip of the fourth. Mets looking for more dump to left center. Larkin going out to make the nice catch, turn and throw. Double up Estacio, but Larkin strains his back on the play, leaves the game. Reds don't answer until the sixth. Austin Kearns, two on. Singles to left. Booney will score. Perez's throw gets away. Junior and Kearns will move up a base. And that base is going to be enough to tie things up because Juan Castro in for Larkin. Deep enough for a sack fly, and we are all knotted up at two. So, question is, who will be smoking the victory cigars? Scary moment in the eighth. Junior drilled in the head by Mark Guthrie. He is unhurt, though. Stays in the game. We go to the ninth. Base is loaded. Two outs. John Reedling, the Mo Vaughn first pitch. Base hit the center. Ball game. Reds lose 3-2. Couple of wannabes, Cincinnati at New York. Identical records before Saturday's game. Bottom third, no score. Knuckleballer Jared Fernandez walking Mike Piazza to load the bases with one out. Your next batter, Mo Vaughn. 11 homers in his last 28 games. Crack! Back! Track! But no jack. Ken Griffey there, sacrifice. Roberto Alomar scores. It's one zip Mets. Edgardo Alfonso next up, knuckles under. Mets strand two. Top five, still one zip. Al Leiter, first start since re upping. Kelly Stinnett struck out four times. Juan Castro, he came twice. And ditto for Fernandez. Leiter strikes out the side. Top six, still one zip Mets. 0 2 count to Adam Dunn. Lighter has retired 12 straight. That looks like 13. Chris Guccione says no. He checked his swing. Survey says <laughs> two pitches later, boom, boom. Game tied. 21st homer for Dunn. Lighter left after six. The Mets use six more pitchers, including Mark Guthrie. We're in the top of the eighth, and he intentionally walks Griff, who was one for four. We've got runners on the corners. Austin Kearns, your next batter, Armando Benitez. He'd go two and a third, his longest outing of the season. One pitch, red strand two. Bottom eight, Scott Sullivan to Roger Cedeno, and Cedeno ripping a shot to right. Kearns gonna play Chuck Connors, rifle man, you out. Mets did not put a runner in scoring position after the third inning. Top 10, two on, two outs, Benitez. Pitching to Griffey, first pitch, strike one. Second pitch, called strike two. Third pitch, ball one outside. Next pitch, fouled off. We got a one-two count. Next pitch, Griffey. Not a inning over. Reds strand two. Go to the top of the 11th, two on, one out. Jamie Serta to pinch hitter Todd Walker and Kearns will score, and the Reds win at 2-1. Three hours and 55 minutes later, Danny Graves pitching the final two innings for the win, getting Vaughn to ground out with the runner on first to end it. Cincinnati four games behind first place St. Louis. Getaway day for the Reds in the Big Apple. The Reds looking for their bats to finally wake up, and they did today. But was it enough to take two of three in New York? Let's go to Shea Stadium. Let's all say happy birthday, Marty Brenneman. Oh, they're having a ball there. The Reds strike in the second. Here's Ken the Griffey Jr. Wow, cranking it up. Ball. That's his right third homer of the season, go. and it's good enough to put the Reds on top, Griffey one to nothing. Next Here's inning, Adam Dunn stepped right up, Adam, and single to right field. That brings home Jace LaRue. Reds on top, two zip. Then in the fourth, Brandon Larson strikes. Base hit to right field. Scores Austin Kearns and Russ Brannion. Reds are cruising, four to nothing. Looking good, but the Mets come back in the seven. Timo Perez singles the left. Ray Ordonia scores, but Brannion bobbles the ball. That allows Robbie Alomar to go to third base. Now that's key because Alomar makes the Reds pay right here. The pass ball brings him home. Cuts the Reds' advantage to 4-3. The Reds then walk Mo Vaughn to get to John Valentin. But Valentin says, thanks for walking, Mo. I'm going to complete the four-run seventh, sending a long fly back to the wall. By the time Brandy comes up with this ball, Perez and Vaughn cross the plate, puts the Mets on top 5-4. To Roger Cedeno homers for a 6-4 lead, but Russ Brannion answers in the ninth, makes it 6-5. But when Brady Clark flies out the right field, it's over, my friends. Mets take two out of three, beating the Reds six.